hello students welcome to our youtube channel path shower so in this lecture we are going to discuss about the national movement that were led by indian national congress after its formation 1885 so in a briefly manner hum kya isme dekhenge background of inc uh, some pre associations of indian national congress that came before the indian national congress थोड़ी सी हम इसको डिस्कस करेंगे ब्रीफली मैं ऊपर ऊपर से ही एंड देन वे गोइंग टू स्टडी द फॉर्मेशन ऑफ इंडियन नेशनल कांग्रेस एंड आल्सो इट्स फेजेस इन एन एट्रोस्कोपिक मैनर वो क्या थे आपको पता ही होंगे मॉडरेट फेज एक्सट्रीमिस्ट फेज एंड द फाइनल फेज आल्सो नोन एज गांधीन एरा सो विदाउट टेकिंग फर्दर टाइम लेट्स डीप डाइव इन टू डेज टॉपिक दैट्स इंडियन नेशनल कांग्रेस सो लेट स्टार्ट If we generally look at the background, we will see that we consider the years after revolt of eighteen hundred fifty-seven. So, इस पे मैंने आरडी एक वीडियो अपलोड की है इस चैनल पे. So, if you had not watched the video yet, please आप इसको एक बारी देख लो. I hope that will clear all your doubts, doubts related to revolt of eighteen hundred fifty seven. So what we see that after eighteen hundred fifty seven, the elements that opposed the Indian national movement in the revolt now also begin to realize that the British rule, the British imperialist rule is harmful on India and the Indian country, Indian people and its country. so now they begin to unite they they also joined the national movement so what firstly what we see here the educated indians that also supported the british rule at that time now became uh, they study the character of british rule and the consequences and its consequences for india so they became more and more critical uh, towards it so unhone kya kiya ki they start criticizing the policies the economic draining policies of Rule British rule in India, and they found their place in national movement. Okay, after that we will see the merchants and Indian capitalist class. They were slow in developing the national political consciousness, but they also saw that they also they were also too suffering in the hands of imperialism. As the capitalist class see that, कि जो अगर इन पे चेक्स लगाए गए थे कुछ ट्रेड टैरिफ्स टैक्सेशन लगाई गई थी ड्यू टू द पॉलिसीज ऑफ द गवर्नमेंट दे एंड द फॉरिन और जो फॉरिन कैपिटलिस्ट क्लास है वो उनको प्रमोट कर रहे थे अपने सो दे हैव एक्चुअली प्रमोटिंग द लैंड शेयर मैनुफैक्चरर्स सो आफ्टर दिस वी ऑल्सो सी दैट यू नो इट वॉज एक्चुअली द नेचर ऑफ फॉरिन इम्पेरलिज्म एंड इट्स फॉर्मफुल इम्पैक्ट ऑन इंडियन पीपल दैट लेट टू दिस पावरफुल एंटी इम्पेरलिस्ट मूमेंट द जनरली एरोज एंड डेवलपड इंडिया इन द and found its name in indian national congress so what we see here that the national movement uh, it united now people they began to realize that they have the common enemy so unhone kya realize kiya ab to british rule ko yahan se hatana hai it's our common enemy and they start to unite against this common enemy and found their place in the name of inc and they were began they were now launching the biggest national movement ever in history so we are going to discuss that in later so what now what we see is the pre congress important national organization ye itna important nahi bhi hai but kya hai ki exam mein kabhi kabhi pooch liya jata hai so please have a look at this so we see that uh, in 1800 1866 dada bhai nehru ji first formed indian east india association in london unhone london mein ek organization assemble ki jiska naam rakha gaya indian East India Association, and he could this uh, to discuss the question Indian question, and also lately he uh, spreaded its uh, its uh, wings in the uh, you know cities of India, in the prominent cities of India. So he came to be known as the Grand Old Man of India because what Dada Bai Nehru ji he. उसने अपनी पूरी जो लाइफ थी एंटायर लाइफ ही डिवोटेड इट टू नेशनल मूवमेंट सो ऑन बिहाफ ऑफ दैट ही वॉज नोन एज ही केम टू बी नोन एज ग्रैंड ओल्ड मैन ऑफ इंडिया एंड ही वॉज ऑल्सो ऑनर्ड बाई बींग थ्राइस एलेक्टेड प्रेजिडेंट ऑफ इंडियन नेशनल कांग्रेस कब कब ये प्रेजिडेंट रहा एटीन हंड्रेड एटी सिक्स एटीन नाइन्टी थ्री एंड नाइनटीन जीरो सिक्स और एक एसोसिएशन थी इंडियन एसोसिएशन ऑफ कलकत्ता 
it was developed by the young nationalist of bengal uh, young nationalist of, sorry, young nationalist of bengals uh, surindranath banerji and anand mohan bose ka bin hone banai july 1876 years after the 10 years of east east india association so inka jo objective raha ki wo ye ye apni national movement ko promote kar rahe they were actually politically educating people ab- about the british rule now after that we also see that uh, purna savar sarvajanik sabha jo kisne banayi justice mg rande ne ranade in 1890 and also madras mahajan sabha m virachari gsir and anand charlo in 1880 for so okay is clear now so we moved uh, so let's move to the indian national congress its formation so when it comes to you know the year and year 1885 we see that the time was now you know ripe for an all india political association organization for nationalists because you see uh, these association they were not all indian they were not a national in nature they were limited to a diff- territory like the kolkata was limited to bengal the and purna swarajya ye bhi limited hi thi isme lawes ko zyada tar dekha gaya tha now the time was ripe for all india political organization of nationalist who they now united and fought against the common enemy foreign rule and exploitation okay <coughs> एक बार मैं इसको क्लियर कर देता हूँ सो वट वी सी हेयर दैट द एग्जिस्टिंग ऑर्गेनिज है सर्व द यूजफुल पर्पज बट दे वर नैरो इन स्कोप एंड फंक्शनिंग तो ये मैं पहले ही बोल चुका हूँ दे वर नॉट ऑल इंडिया इन नेचर एंड उनका स्कोप भी थोड़ा यू नो नैरो था सो दैट वेज द नाउ द इंडियन एसोसिएशन they felt that we need an all india body so both sare if we look at the prominent leaders they were thinking to launch a prominent body uh, but what happened it in 1885 ao hume a general a retired Eng- english civil servant he got in touch with the <coughs> you know prominent leaders of india and organized with their help the first session of indian national congress at बॉम्बे तो इंडियन नेशनल कांग्रेस ने अपना जन्म लिया एंड पहला सेशन इसका असम्बल किया गया कहाँ पे बॉम्बे इन 18 दिसंबर 1885 सो so, कितने इट वाज अटेंडेड बाय 72 टू डेलीगेट्स डेलीगेट्स सो ही गॉट इन टच विद द डिफरेंट प्रोमिनेंट इंडियन लीडर्स एंड देन ही ऑर्गेनाइज विद देयर हेल्थ द फर्स्ट session of indian national congress it was presided by us time iska president kon raha tha wc bonerji and was attended by 72 delegates so <coughs> uh, so we see the presidents of the congress it may be asked in your examination in 1885 it is bonerji and the location was bombay In 1800, it was Dada Bai Nehru ji. The location was Calcutta. Calcutta. 1886, it was Syed Baruddin Tiabi ji, and the location was Madras. And similarly, in 1888, it was George Yule. The location was the meeting location was Allahabad. So also we see here the any Besant, any Besant. It may be asked he was the first woman president of Indian National Congress in 1917. and also the in 1890 kadambi ganguli the first woman to address congress session she was a graduate from university of kolkata so uh, after when the congress met for the first time in 1885 it declared that hereafter we are going to met in in december in each year after 1885 but in a different part of country okay and the aim is that was declared at that time where the promote friendly relation between nationalist political groups from the different parts of the country i late i said that it was an all indian organization so inhone kya kiya ki inke jo ek aim raha we are going to promote friendly relations and dusra inka tha ki develop ek uh, feeling develop kare national unity ka irrespective of caste religion and province 
उस टाइम पे इन्होंने ये रिलीजन उतना दैट वाज देयर रिलीजन वाज मेन सो दे थॉट डेवलप अ फीलिंग ऑफ नेशनल यूनिटी एंड आफ्टर दैट दे आल्सो डिक्लेयर देयर ऑब्जेक्टिव ऑफ फॉर्मुलेट पॉपुलर डिमांड्स एंड प्रेजेंट दम बिफोर द गवर्नमेंट सो डेवलप एंड प्रोपोगेट एन एंटी नेशनलिस्ट आइडियालॉजी एंटी कॉलोनियल सॉरी एंटी कॉलोनियल आइडियालॉजी एंटी कॉलोनिस्ट आइडियालॉजी इनका क्या मेन रहा कि हम एक ऐसी हम प्रोपोगेट करेंगे वी आर गोइंग टू प्रोपोगेट एन एंटी कॉलोन हम कॉलोनियलिज्म के खिलाफ एक आइडियालॉजी प्रोपोगेट करेंगे एंड वी आर ऑल्सो गोइंग टू पोलिटिकली एजुकेट पीपल एंड इनका जो मेन रहा कि नाउ दे पोलिटिसाइज एंड पोलिटिकली एजुकेट पीपल एंड ऑल्सो केयरफुली प्रमोट एंड नर्चर इंडियन नेशन हुड कि हम इंडियन नेशन हुड को प्रमोट करेंगे एंड केयरफुली उसकी सुरक्षा करेंगे नाउ आफ्टर दिस वी सी दैट मनी से दैट कांग्रेस और सेफ्टी वैल्यू सो वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द सेफ्टी वैल्यू थ्योरी वॉज गिवन बाई लाला लाजपत राय इन नाइनटीन सिक्सटीन इन हिज बुक अगेन इंडिया किसने दी लाला लाजपत राय ने नाइनटीन सिक्सटीन इसके मुताबिक इट वॉज ह्यूम सेफ्टी थ्योरी के मुताबिक इट वॉज ह्यूम बिकॉज द ह्यूमज मेन पर्पज एलन ओक्टिव ह्यूम ही वॉज ए रिटायर सिविल सर्वेंट He led to the formation of Indian National Congress. So, according to the safety value theory, the main purpose in encouraging the formation of Indian National Congress was to provide a safety outlet to the popular discontent among educated Indians. जो कि educated Indians में एक develop हो रहा था discontent after years of eighteen hundred fifty seven. But it's not true. Uh, you know it's it's a small part of the truth uh, he want uh, um, this according to safety valley theory he all they also say that he also wanted to prevent the union of discontented nationalist intelligentsia discontented nationalist educated people or you can say intelligentsia nationalist educated people with discontented peasantry so it's not true it's a small part of the truth discontented peasantry so it was also according to the safety valley theory that human's main human main purpose he was aiming to you know stop to prevent the union of discontented nationalist educated indians with discontented peasantry jo ki it is small part of the truth the safety value theory is small part of the truth and is totally inadequate and misleading so if we look at it it's more than anything if we generally look at it, it was the politically conscious indians that were to set up a national organization to work for political and इकोनॉमिक एडवांस सो अब आप ये क्वेश्चन करोगे कि वाई दे डिडेंट कम अप देर ऑन ओन ये अपने वाई उन्होंने अपनी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन क्यों नहीं वाई दे टू द हेल्प ऑफ एलन ओक्टिव ह्यूम सो बिकॉज ये कहा जाता है कि इफ इट वॉज ऑन द ओनली इंडियन लीडर्स इफ इट वॉज असम्बल्ड ऑन द बेस ओनली इट वॉज असम्बल्ड ओनली बाई इंडियन लीडर्स तो क्या था कि उस टाइम पे ऐसा प्रेशर आता एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन की एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन से ब्रिटिश एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन की ये सब टू सप्रेस एंड स्टॉप इट इट वुड हैव बीन यू नो सक्सेसफुली लेड इट्स आल्सो द फर्स्ट सेशन ये मतलब बंद ही ख़त्म हो हो जाती इनको वो इनको बनने नहीं देते बट विद द ह्यूम ऑन फ्रेंड विद द रिटायर्ड सिविल इंग्लिश सिविल सर्वेंट ऑन फ्रेंड वट दे थाट एट कि इससे थोड़ा ब्रिटिश की तरह हमारा आउटलुक जो है वो थोड़ा चेंज हो जाएगा एंड एज ब्रिटिश एज यू नो एन एमिनेंट स्कॉल ब्रिट एन एमिनेंट हिस्टोरियन बिपिन चंद्र ऑब्जर्व दैट इफ एलन उक्टे वॉन्ट टू यूज कांग्रेस एज सेफ्टी वैल्यू द अर्ली कांग्रेस लीडर्स होप टू यूज हिम एज लाइटनिंग करेक्टर नाउ वट वी आर गोइंग टू डिस्कस द स्टेज ऑफ इंडियन नेशनल कांग्रेस सो हम एक रेट्रोस्कोपिक एग्जामिनेशन में 
इनको देखेंगे क्योंकि इस लेक्चर में तो ये कवर नहीं हो पाएगा सो so, एक रेट्रोस्कोपिक एग्जामिनेशन में हम देखते हैं इसके तीन ब्रॉड स्टेज रहे इसके डेवलपमेंट में पहला मॉडरेट फेज जो कि 1885 से 1905 तक चला दूसरा एक्सट्रीमिस्ट फेज जो कि 1905 टू तो 1919 रहा एंड तीसरा गांधी नारा जो कि कहाँ तक था फ्रॉम 1919 टू तो 1947 टिल द इंडिपेंडेंस ऑफ इंडिया so let's see the what moderate phase in and that it was first stage of its existence you know that the vision was inc jo ki inka vision tha wo bahut hi dim tha that was confused what they were supposed to do what they are doing they were actually loyal to british because they feared that this this uh, the the british might suppress them and this they stopped the uh, indian national congress they hoped that it was not going that way so they became a loyal to british administration to some extent and aimed at getting political rights and self governance under british rule so they want development under british rule it was it like first stage of indian national congress uh, isko moderate phase isliye kaha gaya kyunki jo ki इस टाइम के इनके लीडर से लाइक दादा भाई नेहरू जी जी एस आयर एस एन बैनर्जी फिरोज शाह मेहता वो थोड़े से यू नो दे हैवर स्ट्रॉन्ग बिलीवर्स इन लिबरलिज्म एंड वेर मॉडरेट इन नेचर सो इसके बाद क्या आया कि एक और फेज आया जबकि ये मॉडरेट्स जिनको हम कहते हैं वो थोड़े से नाकाम रहे अपने लक्ष्य को पाने के लिए जो उन्होंने उस टाइम पर ब्रिटिश एडमिनिस्ट्रेशन से मांग की वो नाकाम रहे so after this we see the extremist phase coming so the congress now came of its age it was not afraid of the british rule now and its scope and aim were considerably extended it now aimed at getting around upliftment of people so, moderates ka ek aur wo tha ki inme khali educated us time pe the educated people participated at on that time so we see the extremist phase they now aim at getting all around upliftment of the people socially culturally economically and politically political swaraj and self uh, self governance was on front swaraj isme introduce kiya isme extremist phase mein but abhi purna swaraj ka concept nahi aaya tha so after 1919 when the extremist phase got end and the gandhi entered into indian indian national movement it uh, the the purna swaraj of com- uh, the complete independence came into being so it was under the leadership of mahatma karamchand gandhi ji gandhi that by characteristically indian method of non violence and non cooperation the congress integrated mass in- mass organization one of the biggest indian but not biggest national movements in the world that was assembled by congress bringing millions millions of indians against british rule and finally getting independence in 1947 so it is enough for today's lecture in the next lecture we are going to discuss about the moderate phase in detail there then we will see the uh, surat split and also the extremist phase thank you please like and share this video and subscribe the channel